And welcome back to episode number five of The Journey, man. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we meet pretty much a new squad. I brought in so many players, and a lot of them aren't mine. There must be a loophole here, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six players in on loan. I'm not paying a penny to. Our wage bill is very small this year, but we're still breaking the bank. We are skint as a club. But let's have a look at the transfers. There's quite a few, even going back to the end of last season. We brought in Christine Aguilera's brother, Leandro, a very, very decent midfielder. Good defensively. He's quite quick. He's very good for this level. He's got some gaps. Don't get me wrong. Two strengths. Don't look at those, but still, I think he's a very, very good player in the center of the park. Five for six as well. After that, we jumped into the second half of it and we got Maximiliano Noble or Mark Noble as we're undoubtedly going to call him so good tens across the board plug it out. let's just do it now maximilian way too hard to explain mark noble um actually mark noble version two let's go with that one he's so good across the board don't know where he's going to play yet but he's definitely a first teamer anthony sosa i needed somebody on the left hand side and he's not great um the jury's out for this boy I think he'll come good. Great hair, but we'll see what happens. After that is Kaedo, who came in as going to be a starting right back. Very happy with him. His stats are plummeting, like, but let's ignore that. 29, on loan from Albion. He's decent. I don't know where we're going to play him as a fullback. He's more suited. Nines and tens at this level are decent, but still. Victorino, I've had him previous. Journeyman's just a 39 years old. He's dying a bit, but he's going to come in. As a decent ball playing defender, technically really good for a centre back. And then we went to the Boston River to buy a very good player. I like Leonardo Costa. He's a very good defender. He can play anywhere across the back. He's fast, he's physical, his defensive stats are there. Lafredo is brilliant. He's gonna be our starting left back. He's good. He's technically good as well. Crossing, dribbling, first touch, and he's aggressive. Well done, Mauricio. And then the final one is another brilliant starter for us on the right hand side. George Gravy. Really like him. Hell of a pair of teeth on the boy. Like he's like the donkey of Shrek. But I shouldn't say that. That's nasty. So the league this season is full of some serious talent. And if we look at the preview, it's not looking good for us. We're ninth, 18 to 1. Albion a 16 to 1 on. It's going to be a tougher season, I think. Even though I brought these players in, none of them really factor into the all-star. When you look at Junior Arias, we can keep scrolling. George Gravy is our best one and Caceres is our second best one. So with all those new players coming in, this is how we're going to slot into the current tactic, the 4 4 one one I'm more than likely going to change it i'll be honest with you but it sits quite nicely with these boys caceres aguilera really happy with that actually the, the four in midfield i'm very happy with defensively i'm still not sold but it's definitely an improvement on last year big bad brian up top with mark noble in behind we're gonna have a good chance so let's get into the first game of this season with the new boys and see how they do first highlight in the 27th minute this has been a quiet one mark noble out wide we're in the red and white kits Ball goes across, loads of space for Costa. Goes back to Caceres, into Cristina Aguilera. No, oh, this is lovely. Gravy, go on, my son. Oh, what a finish. On the volley, bottom corner, 1-0 up against Racing de Montevideo, who are going to be a decent team this year. They're destined to finish above us, but I think, I don't know, if we can get a win here, happy days. Costa on the ball, back to Caceres, into Christine, Mark Noble. That was lovely playing. Gravy, look at that for a volley. Oh, bottom corner, you'd love to see it. And that's going to be it for half time. We get in, it's an okay performance, nine shots to five. Let's give them a kick up the bum and get back out onto that pitch. And we're at the 90th minute. This has been the biggest damp squib of a start ever. Glad I came. Oh, Bogdicino, can we make it two? Victorino, don't let them break. Is Kaido? Come on, get an eye. That's the worst thing about football management. Oh no! Ferreira, snap him, snap him. Keep. What? Oh, come on, man. Jesus, I did not like that at all. That's our corner routine, which clearly is broken. I've got two back there, though. Where were they? He's taken the set piece. God damn it. All right, we tweaked it and we finished 1 0. Thank God for that. Uh, heat map, decent. I think I want to change this tactic. I've got the players now to shift it up into something a bit more solid where we can batter the possession. So we're going to tweak for the next episode. New tactic incoming. So plan for the next episode. We're going to jump forward quite a bit to the middle of May. Atenas de San Carlos is kind of the one looking at. Rassian we could come back for, but we just played those. So let's leave those. So yeah, we'll come back for that in us. There we go. 11th of May. Zip through. Hopefully we're in a decent position. I love those kits, by the way. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.